The importance of play at all stages of life is universally recognized and has apparently been accepted by the societies ever since ancient time. For children, play activities are indispensable and essential for optimal growth and development. Play and recreational opportunities for the children provide immense pleasure and emotional satisfaction. Play may be considered as self-initiated behavior that is active, spontaneous, fun-generating, purposeless and linked to exploratory behavior and learning. Play activities are ultimate source of joy and happiness. The earliest form of play, which is known as sensory motor play, appears in infancy and continues usually up to two years of age. Play at this stage generally takes place by imitation and repetition, which is symbolized by simple muscular activities that the child performs. The next form of play is productive play, which is generally prominent between the ages of two to four years. At this age, children learn the use of simple and manageable play materials in and around. During this stage, children utilize these play materials in ways unrestricted by conventional standards of performance. Another form of play is reproductive play, which is mainly seen in children between four and seven years of age. In this form of play, children gradually use play materials and carry out play activities in non-conventional ways. Such play activities of children are regulated more by either physical reality or cultural directions. Thus, this stage of play is therefore also referred to as dramatic, socio-dramatic play. After this, in the fourth stage, children learn to play games with rules and extend from about seven years onwards. Play activities of children could be of solitary or group. In solitary play, children play alone, focusing on its activity. On the other hand, in group plays, children generally play with peers, siblings or cousins and also sometimes with anyone irrespective of age. Besides, there is free and guided play. In free play, children have the time and freedom to play and explore at their own pace Whereas in guided play, children have to follow the rules set for the game.
Again, there is quiet and vigorous play. In quiet play, children are generally engaged in such activities where they do not need to talk or make noise or make much movement as they can play quietly. On the contrary, in vigorous play, children need to make vigorous body movement, exercise, which in turn bring great amount of physical strength in children. Further, there is active and passive play. In active play, children themselves are engaged in play activities and derive amusement, entertainment, enjoyment and satisfaction. Opposite to this, there is passive play in which children need not participate in play activities directly but draw amusement by listening and observing play activities of other children. All such types of play activities are equally important for growth and development of the children. Developmental psychologists agree that cognitive development begins before birth and continues through the early years. Patterns of physical and mental development are set within three years of age of the child. Between three to six years, important cognitive, psychosocial, emotional development and patterns of socialization takes place. During the link years, that is between six to eight years of the child, critical transaction to schooling takes place. At these stages, plays and games in the life of the child assume much more importance. Therefore, it is important for the caregivers to be aware about these changes in the child so that appropriate environment can be created for them. Rich, stimulating experiences provided in a safe, responsive environment create the best conditions for optimal growth and development. Story narrating is also one of the very interesting activities in child's play. Various concepts can be given by telling stories. Besides, it is very good activity for language and emotional development as well. Play materials have fabulous role in enhancing learning and all-round development in children. Different play materials attract children and motivate them to participate in actions which in turn are tremendous stimuli for various developments in children. Children extend and deepen their understandings through multiple hands-on experiences with diverse materials.
In all societies, indigenous plays and games are in vogue that children learn from their elders. Children mostly imitate the daily chores of adults and reproduce as play. It helps them to develop their skills and also to carry the cultural norms and management of resources as well. Some of such role plays or pretend plays influenced by the daily chores of the adults are dollhouses with miniature furniture or home home, kitchen or cooking, fishing, babysitting, marriage ceremony, etc. There are many such play activities that provide opportunities for all-round development of children and some of such play activities are derived from cultural activities. The northeastern region of India is considered to be a rich region in terms of distinct cultural wealth. The region has a large population comprising of various ethnic groups. Each and every ethnic group has its own cultural tradition and practices, religious and other rites and rituals which are distinctively different from each other. All these ethnic groups together present a scene of wider socio-cultural diversity and a unique cultural mosaic of Indian culture. People in this region are great lovers of songs and music. Besides, these ethnic societies have intimate relations with the nature and have a great sense of color and beauty, which can be understood by observing different facets of their lives. Children of these ethnic groups are being reared within the natural and cultural settings of their own. Children in this region also enjoy indigenous plays, games, and play materials. Some of such games, play activities, become a part of indigenous knowledge which is unique to any society. They also use wide range of materials available in the environment like wood, bamboo, bark of trees, clay, leaves, different seeds, canes, pebbles, sand, etc. while playing different games or in making different toys, etc. The uniqueness of some of the play materials used in northeastern region is that children play with instruments and objects made in a smaller form, which are usually used by the elders of their community. For example, the different fishing equipments, worshipping materials, agricultural tools, kitchen equipments and utensils, weaving sets, etc. There are some games which are played by both boys and girls. Few such games are hide and seek, around the London, land and water or in out, sit and stand, handkerchief game, pulling the bark of a recognized tree, etc. As the children grow, there are preferences of some games by the boys and girls. For example, Tip cat, marble game, bamboo walking, etc., are preferably played by the boys. Again, five stones, 
garland making, blindfolding, foot on the hole, hopscotch, etc. are favorite games for girls. The Northeastern region is also enriched with stories and lullabies of different societies. These stories and lullabies are unique and give a glimpse of the socio-cultural setup of a society. Lullabies are the soothing songs to lull a child to sleep and also in vogue in societies. Lullabies in this region are generally about their parents going to the farm, which shows their farming culture. Sometimes they are about the God to develop the spirituality in children and about animals and imaginary ghosts to scare them and make them sleep. The families and neighborhood of the societies of the Northeast play a great role in the context of play activities of children. The grandparents and other family members in the families also provide lots of play opportunities to children since their early childhood. Nature and the cultural settings have provided a tremendous opportunity for the children to grow in a very natural way. Moreover, adults also provide freedom to the children to carry out play activities. Though modernity has made some space in the play activities of the children in this region, Yet, children in this region have been playing the indigenous plays and games in a very natural settings. Jimmy, 